Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone. On this video, my friend and I are going to talk about morphophonemics and prosody phonology. Hello everyone. My name is Sania Lutfi Ismail. These are my friends, Reina Celia Hamida and Husnul Bidayah Anwar. We are from the afternoon class. So, what is morphophonemics? Morphophonemics is discussions about sound alternations or sound replacement in word formation process. There are some phenomena in morphophonemics, assimilation, dissimilations, haplology, insertions, and deletions. The first one is assimilations. Assimilation is a common phonological process by which one sound becomes more like a nearby sound. So, Reina, can you tell us what is the example of assimilation? Of course! For example, handbag is often pronounced handbag. This example shows us that when unsound is followed by b sound, it becomes um sound. So, it is pronounced handbag. The second phenomenon is dissimulation. Dissimulation is the process by which one of two similar or identical sounds in a word become less like the other. One type of dissimulation is haplology. Haplology is a sound change involving the loss of a syllable when it's next to a phonetically identical syllable. Haplology is sometimes called syllabic syncope. Let's see the example. The best example of dissimulations and haplology is England in Old English and England in Modern English. The next is insertions and deletions. Insertions is the phonological process in which sound add to word, and deletions is phonological process speech sounds disappear from word. So, do you want to know the example? Let's take a look at this example. When we want to add suffix al to the word grammar, it will not become grammaral, but we will add the and k sound and delete the r sound. So, it becomes grammatical. Now, let's talk about prosody. Prosody. Prosody is supersegmental features. The supersegmental features involve stress, length, tone, and intonations. So, let's see about the stress first. Phonetically, stress is defined as the force with which a syllable is structured. A stress syllable is produced with more energy than its neighbors, usually louder. Sometimes, on a higher pitch, there may be even longer. Now, let's learn about length. Length, length in Indonesian language is a turn of saya, 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 are same, but not in Arabic. The word which is pronounced amin is different from amin, meanwhile, amin is different from amin. We can see that the Arabic is a very meaningful. And Arabic is a very good example of length. Next. Tone is the use of pitch in language to distinguish lexical or grammatical meaning. That is, to distinguish or to inflect words. So, let's see the last one. That is intonation. Intonations. Intonation is a primarily a matter of a variation in the pitch level of the, of the voice. For example, surprise, anger, and weariness. So guys.
guys, in short, phonology is a discussion about phenomena when stress, length, tone, and intonation become meaningful. That's all from us. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.